Okay, so we're, uh, we have two short papers now to finish off today, and thank you for staying and for your attention, and it's coming up to six o'clock, so it's been a long day, so uh, please bear with us and, and uh, get involved in these last two talks as well. So, so paper five is, is addressing the cold start for next song recommendation, and it's presented to us by Zhu Yu Chao. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Si Yu Zhou, and uh, I'm a PhD student in National Taiwan University. And uh, I'm going to present this paper, Addressing Cold Star for Next Song Recommendation. So this is a joint work with my advisor, Yi Xuanyang, and uh, co-advisor, Zhi Xinzhang. And uh, our collaborator, Yu Jinlin, from a music string company called KK Bus. So this work is related to the following two topics, uh, next item recommendation and the content-based recommendation. Next item recommendation models uh, both user preference and the sequential behavior. So content-based uh, recommendation measures the similarity of item in content space. So both the sequential behavior and the content feature are important in recommended system. So in recommendation, sequential behavior can help a model capture a user current preference, and the using content feature can address the cold star problem. So in this work, we propose a hybrid model by combining these two topics to capture the content-based sequential preference. Uh, before I start talking about our model, I want to uh, introduce a next song recommendation. So it's well known that like matrix factorization and Markov chain are the two of the most popular approaches in recommendation. Matrix factorization makes us learn a user preference by factorizing the observed user item, user item rating matrix. So on the other hand, Markov chain makes us model a sequential behavior by learning a transition preference. So the next item recommendation is bring a both approach together to learn a, a personalized transition preference. So in music recommendation, we are interested in giving a very relaxed song a user just listen to, and we want to predict the next song that a user would be interested in. So here's uh, our implementation. So now we have a listening sequence for all users. And then when we follow this formula to convert the listening sequences to a personalized transition tensors. So this formula is to count the number of adjacent song pair and in user's listening history. So in this figure, we can find that uh, each user has his or own, her own transition matrix. And for example, the value here means uh, this song pairs appear five times in listening history. So there are two small uh, implementation details. First, we don't want to recommend the next song, which is sent as the last one. So we remove such self-transitions. And second, for reducing the noise, we also discard the song pairs whose time interval is larger than half an hour. So to reduce the large range of play count, we uh, employ the log scheme in tensor P. And so now we have a tensor, so then we can use a tensor factorization to fill this in this uh, missing transitions. And uh, in this work, uh, we use a state of our tensor factorization, uh, which is a proposal by Rendo. And an advantage of this model is that it has a lower complexity and a better performance. So the objective function is defined as here. This model directly model the pairwise iteration of three features. So the first two linear product UX and the UI are to uh, model the user preference between uh, previous and the next song. So the last one, XY, is to model transition between song to song. The problem of this model is that it cannot deal with the cold start problem uh, because it's only rely on listening data. So here, I want to uh, give you a brief uh, overview of a uh, study of our best uh, content-based approach in music recommendation. The goal of this approach is to learn a function that maps audio feature to song latent factor. 
They also can be seen here. Okay. So this method is a two-stage approach. First, this method can use uh, any type of latent factor model to get a song factor, and then learn a mapping function from audio features. So due to their flexibility, we can use uh, this method in our framework. But the problem of this model is that it lacks, uh, lacks a connection between user and the content feature. So this is because the user uh, factor can not learn uh, anything from the content feature. So we believe that uh, a joint training between uh, this factor and the mapping function can remedy this problem. So our approach is to combine these two models to propose a, a alternative way to learn the all factor and the mapping function in content-based next song recommendation. Our method following two steps. Uh, first, we can obtain the user uh, previous song and next song vector from a pairwise factorization model. So the second step is when we obtain the previous and next song latent factor. We learn the two mapping parameters, theta x and the theta y, uh, from audio. In the same time, we use the learned mapping parameter, theta x and the theta y, and the audio feature to update the previous and next song vector. So we repeat this uh, process until it coverages. So the alternative way allows the content feature to be better explored in the process of learning all the features. So in our evaluation, so the number of user songs and the listening records are shown here. And uh, we track two, uh, two audio features, MFCC and the uh, audio wall. And uh, we use two performance metrics, MAP and recall. So it's well known that using uh, such metrics for evaluation is not enough to guarantee the user certification. So, so unlike these two performance metrics, these metrics do not require the song under evaluation has been listened to by the user. So the definition of this matrix can be found in our previous work. So here's the result. And uh, this table shows the mean average per position and the recall for content-based length song recommendation. We can find that the, our method leads to a slight better uh, performance in both the one star and the core star setting. And uh, now let's take a look at uh, the other, other performance metrics. So the red line is our methods. And uh, the results shows that our model is a uh, higher diversity, uh, higher novelty, and the lower probability. So it means our model can better discover new songs. OK, so here's the conclusion. So in this paper, we propose a novel uh, framework to, to uh, model both uh, sequential behavior and the content feature. So, and the, in the result, we find that uh, using content feature leads to next song recommendation and that uh, feature greatly uh, diversity and the novelty. So we also publish our implementation in GitHub. And uh, thank you for your attention. So, so we have time for one or two questions. thought about using more than one song, more than just the previous song? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question. So, um, so in his paper, we follow uh, Randall's work. I think he published in Triple W, uh, I know, I'm not sure, uh, the year, so. He, he say use, uh, so, I think the Marvel chain is the uh, most popular approach in, recommend uh, in recommendation. So, we follow this work to use uh, only very lax uh, song to, uh, to predict the next song for the user. So yeah, we, I think this is a future work. We also want to try to use a whole listening sequence to predict the next song for the user. I think this is a better, uh, yeah, you can get a better performance for user. Thank you. Can I ask you just about your diversity briefly yeah. There's an issue for next song recommendation that your song should be coherent as well. I don't want to maybe listen to yeah. Beethoven after heavy metal. 
So how do you account for that? Like, we don't want to be too diverse is, is the point I'm making. Yeah, so um, in our implementation, we find that uh, only use a, a crowd of filtering that uh, always uh, recommend Justin Bieber or Michael Jackson, yeah. So I think uh, we find that using content feature, maybe you can find a similar content and uh, maybe another same song, or maybe the song is not, uh, maybe not here uh, for the before. So here, so I want to try to say that uh, using content feature may uh, to uh, better diversity and the novelty. So, yeah. so, so it's, it's a content-based novelty measure. Is that yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you.